guys, Tim here from Novagenics. Um, we've been getting a lot of patients calling, a lot of uh, people asking us, what blood tests do they need in order to diagnose and start testosterone replacement therapy? So um, up here in Jupiter at Novagenics, we require at a very baseline minimum to get our patients started, a blood panel that's gonna consist of both free and total testosterone levels. Uh, we wanna see what the total amount of testosterone, your serum testosterone is, and also what your bioavailable testosterone is. Uh, we also would run an estrogen test, which is your estradiol, to see what your estrogen levels are. Uh, we would also do a PSA, which is a prostate-specific antigen test to you know, make sure that your prostate is healthy and not enlarged. Uh, a CBC and a CMP are also part of our initial panel, a complete blood count and complete metabolic panel. Uh, what those tests for is essentially your kidney and liver functioning, as well as give us a good overview of your overall blood. Um, we want to know your red blood cells, white blood cells, you know, platelets, uh, your hematocrit levels, hemoglobin. Um, so generally when we have the free and total testosterone, estradiol, PSA, CBC, and CMP, that'll give us a good base indication of what your hormone levels and your, your health is. If we need to dive deeper and you know check out what your sex hormone binding globulin, luteinizing hormone, follicle stimulating hormone, that can all be done on subsequent follow-up panels. But um, those are the tests that we would require at a minimum to get started for a diagnosis and treatment on testosterone replacement therapy. So uh, if you guys have any questions Questions about blood panels, how to um, get yourself uh, tested, diagnosed, and treated for low T, you can give us a call here at Novagenics at 561 277 8260, or you can send us an email at infonovagenics.org. Hope this helps and look forward to speaking with you soon. Take care.